Hey guys, Caddy Chalama coming at you with another album review. Uh, last night I listened to What the Game's Been Missing by Kid Boo. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you, never heard of Kid Boo, but as a anime nerd, the second I saw that there was a rapper named Kid Boo, I was like, I, I got to check that out, man, because that's, you know, that's a DBZ reference. I'll, I'll take it, you know, at least give him a try. And um, let's see, what can we say about Kid Boo? Um, uh, uh, definitely uh, young. Um, he's only got, um, you know, he's been in the game since it seems like 2011. He put out some mixtapes. Um, uh, you know, his albums have only been out since 2018. Uh, he's only put out, put out a couple albums since then. And um, it, it does seem like he is young. You know, um, he, he's definitely going to go in that category of cloud rap, you know, club, you know, rappers that are definitely played in clubs. There's definitely going to be some club music, you know. Um, but I definitely felt there was something different than um, the two last previous rappers who I, I, I put in the same category. You know, Fenix Felix and um, uh, Ty Fontaine were the last two. And, and I, I definitely would think that, I, I would say that Kid Boo definitely has uh, a little bit more ability a little bit better ear ear for the sound you know like that that's a big thing is like some sometimes some guy sometimes guys just put they're just producing music they're just putting words to beats and and you know and then sometimes there there are those guys that just know what sounds good you know and i think kid boo's kind of one of those guys I'm not a huge fan of this style of rap, but there there were definitely a few of the songs on this album that that I did enjoy. Um, real guttural, like real guttural beats. That that's one thing. The beats on this this album will beat you up. Um, they, I mean, from the beginning, the the first track. F U C K growing up, it will beat you up. You know, like if this was in a, if this was in a, a 2000s Honda, you know, like a, uh, with a couple subwoofers, it would it would shake the windows out. You know, like some of these tracks are just, are just banging. Beats and, um, lyrically. Uh, definitely not the same level of content. Um, you know, I think he's, uh, again, a club rapper. So he's going to check a lot of boxes in a lot of these songs where, you know, he's talking about the, he's talking about drip. He's talking about, um, get in the bag, got to get in my bag. Um, uh, you know, he's going to get, you know, he's on the lean, he's going to get some perkies, you know, he's got some molly, like all, you know, all the, he's going to check all the boxes. Um, there are a few tracks in here that if you just want to put some stuff on that, that, um, you know, some head bopping stuff that you don't want to really, uh, you're not looking to dissect too much music. This is some good stuff, you know. This is this is a decent album to put, you know, to put on, and and just just listen, you know. Like we're just we're just mowing the yard, listening to some beats, and 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 going to town. Um, it's a total list of fifty tracks on the album, lots of content, but uh, you know how many good tracks are on there. You know, definitely not the, the full 50. Also, a ton of these songs are 
a minute, 30 seconds. A ton of them. There was, there was one or two I saw that were, excuse me, that were just a minute, you know. Um, and, and so he's not definitely, you know, the number looks gigantic when you look at that and you're like, oh, 50 tracks. Um, but, you know, it's deceiving in, in how much content there actually is. Um, and then and in some of them, you know, the lyrical content, like I mentioned, just, it's not super great, you know, um, uh, you know, dead presidents, the chorus is, is trash, you know, it's counting up deeds, counting up deeds, counting up deeds, counting up deeds, counting up dead prez, counting up dead prez, counting, you know, presidents, uh, dead presidents, uh, counting up deeds, counting up deeds, counting up deeds. Literally, uh, this is just it, and, and it's, it's eight lines of that, you know, it's eight lines, that's the chorus, you know, so lyrically, he's, he's not, he's not there, he's not on that level, you know, definitely looking at a C tier, you know, rapper lyrically, but he, he's able to at least get a good sound out of it, you know, that's one thing I would say separates him from the last couple artists that I put in the same category, um, you know, I would say that just getting him to sound better than the last artists maybe elevates him up to a B-tier artist over a C-tier, um, but, you know, not super great, it's, you know, not super great, I, I did listen to all of it, found myself bobbing with some of it, you know, so uh, that is something that I found differently than, than the other two, the other two, I just, I didn't even enjoy those albums, you know, it, it just, you know, there wasn't anything that hooked me, it, and at least with this kid, the sound hooked me, and, and somebody, I'm, I'm going to check back in on it, now, that might be because I'm biased, because of the anime reference, there's a few anime references in his lyrics, in the sounds, in the beats, you know, um, you know, I, I like to think that I'm a pretty straightforward and non-biased, um, you know, non-biased fan when I'm digesting new content. And so I just look at things as how they are. I try to at least and, and not let certain things, you know, blind me and, and, and I feel I did that with Kid Boot, you know, even if he does, you know, tap into another part of me that I, I really did like, I really do like, you know, the, the nerd part. Um, uh, I don't ever want to say anything about a guy's look. Um, you know, dress how you want to dress, do what you want to do. Um, you know, but, but if you're going to be in the public eye, you are subject to criticism, you know, and, and, and that goes for, musicians and artists as well, you know, um, if you're going to put out a specific kind of sound, if you're going to put out, you know, if you're going to have a gimmick, you know, uh, I'll get to this when I, you know, this is another thing I'm going to talk about when I talk about, I have a female artist coming up, uh, I did a, I'm listening to a female artist's album, and <clears throat> this is something I'm going to have to talk about, but when you have a gimmick, and you're in the public eye, you're subject to criticism, and, you know, you're dyeing your hair, you, you got a bright red dyed hair, you got tattoos on your face, you know, you got, you know, chains hanging off you, you know, you're, you're, he's obviously targeting a specific section of the culture, and, you know, we're talking about the, uh, the 6 9 you know, Takashi six nine section of of the culture, <clears throat> and and you're you're open to criticism for that. You know, you're gonna put tattoos on your face. Uh, I'm not gonna be a huge fan. You know, like 
I, I just, I just don't, you're, you better be a good rapper, man, because you're not going to be doing much other than making music with tattoos on your face, so, uh, you know, personally, I don't care, but that's just the world we live in now, you know, that's just the world we live in, so, um, but a few things in there that I liked, um, you know, check it out, uh, tell me what you guys think, um, I would I would expect more lyrical talent from a guy that's been active for 12 years, but what the style of rapper he is, that it just is what it is. So tell me what you guys think. Uh, hit the like, subs uh, subscribe button. Uh, hit me up in the comments. Uh, you know, let's talk about Kid Boo a little bit, and uh, and uh, maybe some of his other albums sound a little bit better. You know, or or. I'm, I'm assuming they probably are very similar content, but who knows? Uh, but yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one, and uh, thanks for watching.